segment is, is about the maritime extramural, extramural that we, we, we've been doing. And it consists of your sailing, your rowing, your diving, uh, your, your, your motorboating. Captain, just, just, just putting out there, I'm the captain of that one. My name is Mobile Kozwayo, and I'm from Deben in KZN. I'm a former sail captain. So today I'm gonna tell you guys more about sailing. I grew up in a small village called Olund in KZN. I was raised by my grandma, and then I went to Deben, where I stayed with my mom, and then I, there is where I started to know something about sailing. Mr. Njana, all my teachers, they were, they were, they were keep on polishing me. You see the diamond when you start on. Keep, they, were, they were keep on polishing me, and then to say I started to shine. Well, I started to shine sailing because that was I'm good at. One of the, the good things started last year at the end of December where I got selected to be the sail captain, and then that's why I was like, you know what? There's something into me because there were a lot of people who motivated me. There were a lot of people who motivated me. A lot of people were there for me even the time. When I lose my sister, Mrs. Owen was there for me. I'm sorry for crying, it's just that sometimes it seems impossible, but it is possible. When I lost my sister, I felt so weak because she was the one that was, she was the one that was saying, I wish to be like you one day. She was kept on telling me that I wish to be like you one day, and I was like, oh, really? And then when I lost her this year, I felt so weak. But Mr. Sosibu, Mrs. Owen, they were there. My family was there to support me. General Porter were there to support me. That's why today I'm saying that anything, it's, it's possible. It may seem impossible, but it is possible. Now I'm starting to be famous. <laughs> now I'm starting to be famous. I'm starting to be famous. But to make, okay. So just put it up now. <laughs> okay, and just one more time. <laughs> one more time, okay. I um, wish that one day for the next generation will be their role model. Well, I know I'm already the role model. I <laughs> <laughs> who you is so new after a while. I bought through one day the first order. I'm coming from a small, small town of Oswald. And I would just like to share a short summary of my stay, if I can put it in that way, here at Louisville Maritime Center and just to give a brief information on what we actually do in motorcycle. What is Louisville Maritime Center? Because all of the cadets around me are talking about Louisville Maritime Center and I wanted to know what is this place. I started to do research and I got it. I got accepted um, at Louis Maritime Center. <coughs> I'm a guy that I love big engines, I love speed. That's me. So I just wanted to try out motor sailing and when I got when I went out to sea for the first time, it was just something that told me, you have to go in this, you have to go here. Before I came here, I saw this picture. But when I actually came here, I saw the world. <laughs> I was always the one in my family that wanted to excel. I wanted to be the one that do stuff that no one else in my family ever did. And look where I am today. I am sure, I am so proud of myself, I can say that. If I had to co compare myself, the person I am today, to the person I was when I got here, I was is over. There is a huge, huge difference in every aspect of my life. And I want to conclude by saying again, thank you, Mrs. Howard. Thank you to the local staff. Thank you for the sponsor. My name is TMB Alisha Mazula. I come from the free state in a small town called Valcom. And I'm a SAMHSA bursary holder. I will be representing the rowing team. <laughs> I started doing rowing in 2021, last year. And I believe that rowing has, play, has played a, a, a positive impact in my life. It is where I built my confidence and learned the true value of teamwork. Rowing became my best friend because it was there for me in times of need. 
med mentally, academically, socially. So it was highly therapeutic for me. It gave me a sense of serenity. Teamwork and trust was established among, amongst each other because in order for that boat to move effectively while rowing, the entire team had to cooperate. Well, unless if you're in a single boat. The boat cannot be propelled with, with only one person. All legs must be on deck. I entered the boat with the belief that Utebi would row the boat safely and that our reliance on one another would prevent a capsize. When we were in the middle of the ocean, we had no choice but to continue rowing against the choppy currents and heavy winds. So in a manner, rowing taught us to be persistent and not to overthink stuff and just have fun. And then I just pictured myself case-sizing because I don't even know how to swim. <laughs> it's both terrifying and thrilling at the same time. I guess what kept us calm was the coaches' assurances that we were in safe hands. Even though we always lost and regard us, they were the best because <laughs> memories were made. I am appreciative for the abilities and the lessons it has taught me, like teamwork, perseverance, trust, punctuality, and leadership. I know it wasn't easy, and rowing wouldn't be possible without you guys. Thank you.